Hey Space Engineers, this is Agent Luke with a big update for Mother OS. This is version 0.2.13, the boot update. This version represents a huge change to the way Mother handles the registration of blocks and subgrids. She can now crawl in your grid and access all the blocks mechanically, unless they're connected by a connector like a dock ship. Some of you guys are hitting complexity errors in the larger ships, but that's no longer the case. You should also just be able to run the boot command, uh, and no longer have to recompile when you hit an error. So let's see how it works now. So if we pull up our mother instance on this grid, and if we go down here, we'll now have the ability to run boot. So if I click run, you're going to notice we enter a boot cycle, and we're booting through each module. And when it's done, it's going to tell us, and that's when mother OS is available for you to use like you normally would. Uh, we're going to get a printout here in a second. You'll notice the, the, this station that I've been working on um, actually started hitting complexity errors a while ago, and so this was something I needed to fix. And you can see now that uh, Mother's working across 46 grids and subgrids. There's 50 mechanical connections, uh, tons of screens, tons of connectors, tons of lights. Uh, she's not even breaking a sweat in that boot. So uh, I think this will be the end of the major complexity errors when running her. I mean, she should be able to function pretty well across the large grids and also the small grids. Just to prove that point further, you can see the map screen running here on this, uh, this screen assembly that I've got running in my foyer. And uh, this is on, let's count them, one, two, three, looks like it's three levels deep on a subgrid, and uh, Mother doesn't have any issues rendering the map screen now. So uh, she has pretty good coverage across your grids. I imagine that she should be fit for the task to handle even your most complicated mechanical systems now. The other focus of this update was to add incremental controls to some of the common mechanical commands. So I'm going to jump over to Clifford now and show you how I can improve my welding experience. So here we are at Clifford, and you can see in the toolbar that I've set a few like pre-recorded angles that I can easily toggle between that allow me to just more easily access areas uh, by adjusting the angles of my hinges. Uh, so you can see I got 45 degree increments, pretty fit for the task, and I found this extremely useful. But of course, let's think about that for a second. It, I kind of have to go back in if I want something different, you know, 30 degrees, 20 degrees. Uh, I'd have to rewrite these toolbar actions, which is really not something I want to do. And so we can do better. Let's look at how we can actually just increment the value of our uh, hinge angle rather than set it to an absolute value. So I'm going to open up a new toolbar. We'll go to toolbar 5, and we're going to run a few commands through Mother. So the first command we're going to run is to reduce our angle by 5 degrees. So let's uh, first I'll undock, so I have only have my terminal system. And let's find uh, Mother. She's right there on the funny looking programmable block. So we'll pull her down. We're going to run the command, and this is just going to be the hinge rotate command. Uh, I know that my hinges are called hinges in this case. And rather than setting an absolute value like this would be to rotate to 5 degrees, what we're actually going to do is we're going to subtract 5 degrees from the current angle. Right? So I'm going to copy that so we can access it for the opposite. I'm going to call this, for now, let's just call it minus minus 5. That's a pretty common increment notation. Um, and I'm going to do the opposite for addition now. So if I want to add 5 degrees, I'll just replace the sub with add. We'll do the same thing with that increment notation. Press confirm. And that should be all we need to run these commands. So there you go. Clicking once to minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20. If we want to increase now, we can go plus 5, another 5, another 5, and another 5, which would bring us pretty close to 0. Uh, so you can see very quickly how this would become useful, and I'm happy to say that this applies to all the mechanical blocks that you would think of. Pistons can do this with their distances, rotors can do this with their angles, and you can also adjust the speeds dynamically. And there's actually one more block that I've added in this update uh, that also can be controlled by this uh, that I'll show you now. So if we zoom in, we'll notice I have the spotlight. And until this update, spotlights actually weren't supported by the light command. This is an oversight by me. They're actually treated differently than a typical light block. Uh, but we can also control the brightness of a light with this command, which is something pretty neat. It lets you set some ambience in your areas, depending on button presses. It becomes very accessible. So let's think about this. Uh, we'll take the same approach. So let's find it. It is called Searchlight. Okay. So we're going to run two more commands now, one for brightness down and one for brightness up. 
What's the command? Well, it's light intensity, just like the property we'd bonify on the light otherwise. Uh, we know that this called this uh, grid, uh, block rather is called searchlight, and it's in percentage points. So we're going to go down by 10%, or 0 0.1. Okay, so we're going to go confirm. And for this one, I'm going to go BRT minus minus 5, just so we have some differentiation. And one more time, I'm going to paste the opposite. So the intensity of our search slate, we're going to add 10%. And we're going to say BRT plus plus, uh, plus, plus 10. Uh, I noticed I had the notation wrong here. We'll keep moving anyway. OK, so there we go. So now if we hit those buttons, we'll see the intensity going up and we'll see the intensity going down. So I hope you guys can find some cool use cases for this. I think this really does uh, expand a lot of what you can do with your mechanical systems and give you the fine-tuning control via a button panel that becomes so useful. Uh, so I really look forward to uh, what you guys can create with some of this stuff and stay tuned. I have lots of cool things in store. That's all for now, guys. I have a few more improvements to make to Mother Core, and then I'll release it alongside with a tutorial series to help you guys build your own scripts with many of the core tools that Mother uses under the hood. So stay tuned, and happy engineering. Crystallized, making tricks flip. Hear the beats knock and make your heart skip. And then we ride on the mothership. Ride, ride, ride. Hop on the mothership, and we ride.